So we're given this crazy series and we're asked for which values of p the series converges. Now whenever we're given a question like this, we should be using an integral test. The reason is I wouldn't really know what to compare this series to if I was going to use a limit comparison test or a direct comparison test, but hopefully we're given a series that we can actually integrate. So don't forget to review your integration skills, but one of our biggest skills with integration is knowing how to do a substitution. And one of the rules that you might follow when looking for a substitution would be to look for a function within this function that is in parentheses or raised to some power or under some root. In this case, we have the natural log of the natural log of n raised to the p power. So what I'm going to try to do is see if I make that the natural log of the natural log of n, my u value. I want to see what I get for du and see if that shows up in my integral, or in this case, my series. If I take a derivative of this, um, all derivatives of natural logs start with 1 over whatever is inside of the natural log. And then the chain rule in this case would say that we need to multiply this result by the derivative of what is inside that natural log. Finding this derivative here just means taking the derivative of the natural log of n, which is 1 over n. And don't forget we have a dn on here. Now this is what's really cool in this problem. You'll notice that this du actually appears right here in this integral. So that is how I'm going to do this problem. Let's rewrite this thing. All right, we rewrote the series as an integral, and we're going to make this substitution like we talked about. This term over here turns into a 1 over u to the p power, and the rest of this integral just turns into a simple du. Okay, so I'm going to condense this so it looks a little bit nicer. If we want to put limits on this integral, what we could do is plug n equals 2 into our original substitution up here. That is going to give us u equals the natural log of the natural log of 2. If we plug n equals infinity into this substitution up here, the natural log of the natural log of infinity does go off to infinity. Okay, so at this point we do need to integrate. It might help you out if you rewrite this integral a little bit. 1 over u to the p power can be written as u to the negative p. And now we can use our power rule for integration, which says we're going to raise the power on u by 1 and divide by that power. This upper limit is what really concerns us as far as convergence or divergence here. If we put infinity in for u, the question is what values of p are going to give us a convergent integral? Well, the trick here is understanding that if this exponent right here is negative, then plugging in our upper limit u goes to infinity is going to converge to 0. This exponent could also be 0, and this numerator would just give us a value of 1. That would give us a convergent integral as well. But if this exponent is positive, then as u goes to infinity, this integral is going to go to infinity, which is diverging. So a requirement on this exponent is that negative p plus 1 be less than or equal to 0. Adding p to both sides tells us that 1 has to be less than or equal to p, or if it's written in a slightly nicer way, we can just flip this thing around and say that p has to be greater than or equal to 1 for this integral to converge, and thus for this series to converge. And that is actually it for this problem. Thanks for the question, and I'll see you next time.